Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review for Boruto Episode 8. And needless to say, I actually tweeted about this episode because I love this so much. Now, my favorite part of the episode is actually something most people didn't like. But I love this a bit where Naruto talking about the sacred scroll and Boruto was like, I thought it was funny because Naruto would just genuinely curse, like, did you do something really stupid, like, steal a sacred scroll? And Sugimaru was like, oh yeah, the sacred scroll contained forbidden ninjutsu. And, uh, he, he was just like, what kind of dumbass would steal a sacred scroll from the Hokage Tower? And Naruto's face, and the way he knocked to Shikamaru were laughing, was just hilarious. Because a lot of Boruto so far have been saying that, you know, had been, like, something anybody could watch. Like, you know, you could never watch the original Naruto and understand what's going on in Boruto. Pretty much, right? Like, that's the whole point. It's a new generation, a brand new series, a brand new story, with the, with the old characters replacing what, like, the third Okage was playing the role of. Like, Nar like, this is pretty much like the original Naruto, but everything is different. All the characters are different. Like, Naruto is Haruzen. Boruto with Naruto, Sarada and Sakura, that kind of thing. But the point is, is that I absolutely loved how there was a straight up callback that no one would get. Like, they don't do flashbacks to explain it or anything. It's just a nice little joke that only we fans that watched everything from episode 1 of the original Naruto to episode 500 or chapter 1 to chapter 700. Only the people that watch all of that will get that joke and I loved it. It was also, it was nice to see that classic goofy Naruto. You know, like in like the Boruto movie and Naruto Gaiden, we got a little bit, a little bit of the original, like, the Naruto we love in Gaiden. Where he did things like Naruto, for example, his talk with Serata, and you did the talk new just new on Serata, on his fight with Jin. We got a little bit of class at Naruto, but especially in the Boruto movie, we only get like one thing where I was like, that's the Naruto we all love. That's the main character we follow, not this old, serious, I am the seventh Hokage, and I am a complete badass, and I'm quiet and silent all the time. Like, it was nice to see the talkative, like, oh my god, I'm, I'm an idiot, like that guy. It was really nice to see the, like, the original Naruto that he knew to be before he became Okage again. Now, another thing that I love with this with, uh, Hichi, I forgot his name, but he, he not his father, um, throughout the whole episode, I was like, Hichi's gonna be a prick. He's just gonna be a real jackass. And he turned out to be like the most badass, like, but he turned out to be a pretty cool badass still, I would assume. But he's also his, like, loving grandfather. Which threw me for a loop because I was kind of like, whoa. I was kind of like, what? Because, as you know, this guy was like a dick to, to uh, Hinata when he was a kid. Like, he was a terrible father. Like, you think Naruto bad? This guy was borderline emotionally abusive. Granted, Naruto is an asshole in this episode too, but I'll cover that later. But, uh, yeah, so he's like a loving grandfather. We got to see some of the Hanabi in this episode, which was nice. Even though, let's be honest, nobody, nobody cares about him. Like, in my, like, I don't care about Hanabi. Maybe you guys care about Hanabi. I don't. It just, I look at it like, and this is my opinion on it now. Shit, I hate my this damn thing sometimes. That thing annoying. No, but, uh, this is my opinion on Hanabi. Hanabi is annoying. Alright? Be, not because, not as a character, but the way she was handled. She was shown, like, during the tuning in them. And then, in canon, she wasn't meant to get it. Again, until the last Naruto the movie. Like, what the fuck? I know, like, what the fuck is that? Like, why was she not mentioned in the last? Again, it, it, it didn't make any sense. Oh, I found there how I solved that problem. <laughs> no, but, uh, it didn't make any sense. And it was stupid, and it was bad writing. 
And so, honestly, and even in this, I'm like, I don't really care about Hino Wari now. Not Hino Wari, no. Hanabi that much. Like, she's just there. I can't have an opinion on Makara on a character I know borderline nothing about. Like, she was kidnapped. She, she, her and Hinata didn't always get along, from what I understand, and her eye got ripped out or something. Like, I don't know. So, we, uh, we saw Toneri in this episode. Yeah, um, my opinion on that is whatever. I mean, as you know, I actually had not. I know what happened in the last, but I and I know that all the information that was gathered. But I've never actually sat through the movie fully. But I hear what ha what's happened. I understand all the abilities. I know. And I know all the information. I had never actually sat down and watched it. <coughs> now this is a court. Because I'm a Narutaku fan. I, I had no interest to watch the movie without Narutaku and like relationship. I'm sorry. And, like, that's just me. So, honestly, I may have to sit down and watch. I may sit down and watch Naruto vs. Toneri just to get a grasp on him and the character. But, yeah, Toneri showed up in this episode, and I'm like, what the fuck? Is that Toneri? I mean, I, I, I'm, I didn't see what. I thought Toneri was dead. I took, well, the last is the only area of Naruto where my information on it is very weak because I know like nothing about it. You know, I've never seen it. But yeah, but uh, so I was like, what the fuck? I thought Tonari was dead. I'm so confused. So I guess he isn't dead. Um, Boruto spent the whole episode thinking at the Byakugan. It's, it's funny, but it's also kind of annoying because we know he doesn't have one. But it's kind of funny seeing him running around like. Honestly, this probably would have been better if we were new to the series. Like, if they wanted to think that they were thanks to the information we have from the original, we're like, no, you don't have Byakugan. We're 100% positive about that. Alright? So I feel like that kind of killed the, killed the joke a little bit, but that's just me. And it's still entertaining. Um, it's not with the movie guy that looked like he was out of Gurren Lagann, Kage Kame Man or whatever. No. Fuck that shit, I'm sorry. It just, that felt so out of place. It almost felt like filler time killing junk. But besides for that stuff, the episode was really, really good. I like the thing with Hanabi. Even though I'm not the biggest Hanabi fan, I like it because I just haven't seen enough of her to form an actual. So I haven't forced seen enough of her to like her. And they act like we know her. But that. Not gonna rant about that. Already did that. But, uh, the stuff with Han Hanabi was nice. I really like, I liked seeing Hanabi play with uh, Himawari. I liked that. Um, the stuff with Hinata the Dag was great. Yeah, I really liked the whole, he's a really dick of a father, but he's a really awesome grandpa. I like that. Um, that's about it. I mean, the stuff with your, your Boruto dream. Where it's like, you will shoulder the fate of the world. Which, which is, for me, that confirmation doesn't have a Byakugan. I mean, if, he, if he had a Byakugan, Toneri Akasuki would not be showing up in your dreams. And like, giving you a prophecy. And you're going to save the world with your eyes and like, something about comet. Like, without a comet. And none of that would happen. If it wasn't for something special going on. Like, but the Yakugan is had by so many people. The only thing I want to tell you is Naruto in there. Now, this introduces another reason why Boruto doesn't like Naruto, which I like. There's more to it than, than he does than Boruto never sees his father. No, there's a lot more reason why he didn't like him. Because he's Okage, Boruto only really sees the worst of Naruto. The Boruto never gets to see the all-powerful, like, god of a ninja that Naruto is. Boruto never seen Naruto fight. I mean, you remember the Boruto movie, Boruto even said, I never knew Dad have power like this. Like, nothing make Naruto, like, honestly, he not the pro he not the candy that probably had never seen Naruto at his max. The only characters in the village that could probably give Boruto like an in-depth description of Naruto's real power are Sakura and Kakashi, who saw him during the fight with Kaguya. Like, Sakura 
stall that, like, super tail beast Ross and Judikin did. As you can tell, Boruto, like, there was a time where your father made a Ross and Judikin doing, like, out of all the liquid tail beast, all the, out of, using all the chakra of all nine tail beasts and threw them at the, at a woman that had all the chakra in the world inside of her. And Boruto would be like, okay, that's pretty cool. But, like, I get they would, I, I guess the only people that can really truly describe him at his max just don't talk about it. They're pro they probably can't. It's not like they're just gonna talk about the Kagura fight. It's not like Naruto and Sakura. It's not like Sakura is mean, just gonna bump into Naruto on the street and be like, "Well, let me tell you the time we fought the goddess of all chakra, and now your father like." Make Ross and Shuriken go to Chakra of All Nine Tail B. So, no one can really describe. So, all he really hears is like a basic outline. Your father is the strongest shinobi ever. Your father is the hero of the war. Your father is amazing. Your father that. Your father that. Which, which is all true. But, like, he sees Naruto come home. He's exhausted. He puts his shoes on backward because he's so tired. He'll walk into his office and his paper will fall over and make a big mess. And honestly, he looks at his father and he's like, This guy's a fucking loser. Like, this guy's a goddamn idiot. And even then, in this episode, like, he I don't think he realized that Naruto the one that stole the Sacred Scroll stealing the Sacred Scroll. But even he's like, what kind of dumbass would do that? Like, he doesn't, know, he doesn't look at Naruto and see a cool guy. He sees a loser. But then honestly the reason I would like it is he could have a conversation with Kakashi or Sakura. Preferably Sakura because you know Kakashi just I feel like it would Kakashi would mean this whole student though he kinda of always liked Naruto a little bit in my opinion. I think I think it would be really nice if he had a if he had a conversation with someone like honestly I can we get a scene with him talking to Sakura? His, his opinion of Naruto is pretty much the same as that Sakura was in part one. Like, so that could have that could have to be a really you could have to do something with that. Where like he like he could go to on how much of a loser Naruto is and Sakura is like, you have no idea how wrong you are or something. Like, you could do something or maybe Kakashi. And I just Kakashi never really Kakashi didn't like Naruto, but he ever thought he was a loser. But did we could get that like? Like, Boruto, like, asking Sakura maybe what his dad would like or something, that'd be really cool. Because, if you ask, I didn't even do a video on that, like, I just, I just realized that I'm recording this. Sakura's opinion on Naruto in part one, in the very beginning, is almost the same as Boruto's opinion of him now. But guys, for that, that deep down, Boruto loves Naruto somewhere, but he's his dad. Sakura hated him. But your general opinion of him would be that thing. And you could do something interesting with that. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy. It looks like the arc is finally going somewhere. So I can, I'll start reviewing it consistently every week. But what's happening before was that I wasn't having anything to say on the episode. I mean, like, I, there was never anything for me to add. Then it was, it was like, okay, it was a good episode. That's it. Like, this episode was good. But nothing was different. It was just another villain of the week. But it seems like now we're going to start getting more, um, like, character versus character versus character. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. I'll do my, I'll probably, have, I'll try to have my predictions out by Sunday or Monday. And a quick note on my Samurai Jack video. Alright? This is how that's going to work. I'm waiting until the weekend that I want to do a really long video on that. Like, I want to do a video about my thoughts on Samurai Jack as a whole. So I've been putting it off. I'll try to have it out this weekend. I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm actually going to go and see if I can record the Jack video now, but it's going to take me a while to edit and render it. So that will probably be out this weekend. Um, tomorrow is One Piece. Now, it may be out... Friday, just because it's going to be a double reaction and a double review, so that may be out Friday. Just because it'll be, or maybe the reaction will be out tomorrow, and the review will be out Friday. It all depends. I may not even. I may even do like a. I, I may just do a new. No, I'm gonna do a live stream tomorrow. 
So look out for a live stream tomorrow around 5. And it will just be me reading the chapters and discussing them with you guys and discussing them for a bit live. And just getting that over with because I don't think I can do a review of both chapters. I, I have finals going on right now and it's just not going to work. So yeah, I'll do a long ass stream, catch up on that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video for the next couple days. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos and be sure to keep your eyes out for my Samurai Jack video that will be coming out soon.